Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm supposed to be at work today, but I'm not because I'm fixing our dyno computer. And, uh, well, what I'm doing is I'm installing a new fan and a new hard drive because, well, the, the hard drive seems like it's about to crap out, and the fan definitely crapped out. So it's just a crapshoot. Now, this is a pretty good computer. It's an i7 with like 12 gigs of RAM, and it's supposed to be, you know, really kicking butt. Uh, but, Subjected to some of the uh, environmental things of our dino room, especially when the fans aren't going. There's a lot of dust that gets kicked up. I think that that has something to do with it. Maybe not the hard drive. The hard drive is probably two or three years old now. But the, uh, the fan, definitely. I'm sure that's why the fan died. It took me probably about three hours to get a fan from Dell. I mean, I was searching on Amazon and stuff, couldn't find anything. Contacted Dell, was on the phone with him for 30 minutes got hung up on, which kind of sucked, so I just decided I'm going to do an online chat, did the online chat, and lucky they were able to uh, uh, to get me what I needed for only 10 bucks. My computer is out of warranty, but uh, for 10 bucks I was like, heck yeah, send it, and then it was going to be another $25 for it to ship like a day earlier, and I was like, no, don't worry about that, so $10, new fan coming. And uh, it should be good, but I'm still working on the uh, the hard drive. I did get uh, I did get the uh, the fan running again, but it's like barely running. So we're gonna we're definitely scrapping this one. Or I, I just couldn't. No matter what I did, I couldn't get it going great. But let me show you what I'm working with right now. You can see that my computers we're we're going over to a SSD because it'll be you know better it's been at this for 124 minutes which is you know for those of you who don't know how to read time which is two hours and four minutes and now we're at 40 some seconds and uh, we uh, ideally this is going to be completed uh, well in the next uh, uh, 20 minutes or so and I'll be able to get to work you can see how I have a SATA adapter here which is pretty cool SATA USB adapter uh, I got my fan running again. It's barely running. You can hear it's making lots of noise. And uh, the hard drive uh, is over here. We will be replacing that. I tried to do it all last night, but it like glitched out in the middle of it. So I'm, I'm working on that again this morning, and it's also why I'm not at work. So that kind of sucks. Yeah, I am kind of technical, so, you know, this is, this is in my, uh, you know, wheelhouse here, which is nice, but... Uh, yeah, it kind of is what it is. Like, it's, you know, I can't operate the dyno without the dyno computer. I do have certain backups. Like, I can actually operate the dyno computer by the, uh, uh, what you call it, by the, uh, by my laptop. But it gets a little cumbersome to, like, having to have to switch, like, back and forth between the two of them. So, it, I like having this, and then I get to project it to the, uh, um, the, uh, the big screen TV that we have as a monitor. So I get to project it to that in order for customers to see it and print out and stuff like that. It, it makes it, you know, a nice experience. And today is what we call a flex day. That's when uh, we don't actually have tunes scheduled, but we use that for the stuff in-house to get done. We have three flex days a week now because we're doing so much work that I have to bang out uh, somewhere between two and four tunes a day. Uh, of the cars that are in the, the shop. Sometimes it's just one, depending on the, the scale of the build. Like some of these like ridiculous builds, they get the, the full day or more. Whatever they need is basically what they get uh, for all of it. Some cars are just like intake and headers. They might be on for an hour, maybe. Like it, it, it really depends on the, uh, the scope of the project. Some cars are flex fuel, so they're usually three to five hours. Like to, because we we do a process where we make sure that we tune it properly on pump gas, and then we drain everything out and do it on E85, and you know make sure that it's it's mixed properly. But uh, obviously, not having a dyno computer kind of throws it for a little bit of a uh, a glitch here. We're hoping that we get it uh, all sorted out, you know, soon, and this works properly because it would suck if I went through all this for probably two and a half hours or so and it didn't work. I'll find out shortly. So apparently I have a couple more operations. The big one, the nine, 
90 uh, gigabyte thing or nine, 900 gigabyte thing is done and uh, now we're on partition 5 or something like that and that one's moving along pretty quickly it's only like 12 gigabytes and uh, we're going on three hours now of this but ideally when we're done here I'll be going to work okay we are back up and running I'm going to get the hard drive in and we are going to see if it works or if I'm throwing shit okay moment of truth I got the hard drive in and is it working it looks like it's a good sign we got the little circle thing the little circle thing should mean that it's cloned properly oh man let's see it, this is a great sign this I think this means it worked I think we're we're good to go and it definitely booted incredibly fast compared to the uh, the standard hard drive let's get in that password circle 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 and look at that that beautiful mug right there and we're in all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Look at that. The Dino computer is alive again with an SSD now. It only took like four hours to do because I messed it up the first couple times, but now we are up and running. I can shut it off and we can go to work. Are you girls ready to go? Yeah. Abby, you ready? You guys want to say bye to everybody? <laughs> Did you guys think that was the end of the video? Nah, there's more. Let's get her hooked up at the shop. We're here at the shop. Let's get her hooked up and see if uh, there's any, like, issues. Because we only did it lightly because it was almost noon. I had to get to the shop real quick because I had about two different meetings that I needed to attend. One on a phone and one in person. And, uh, yeah, let's see if it works. Huh? Let's see how quickly it starts. And, oh, man... Oh, this, it used to take like five minutes to load the dyno software. Probably the hard drive taking a dump. But, you know, we're going to use that fancy password again if it gets there. And let's load the DinoJet software. doing pretty good here can we do it in less than a minute can we increase our productivity that much oh my gosh that's it that's it like this used to take forever and now look at us look at us just look at it would you would you just look at it this you guys don't understand but this is amazing so we are resyncing the google drive that thing's the only thing that i can tell that fell out of sync uh, with the whole computer. It's like the only casualty of war and that's that's great like it's just way faster You guys saw it boot it up like instantaneously uh, It used to take like five minutes to be able to uh, load uh, the DinoJet software now. We're less than a minute I'm running into issues with uh, Google here I might have to like uninstall the whole thing and let this thing like resync so that that really blows So to sync this I have to delete all of Google Drive Which is uh, pretty big because I have a lot of stuff in there it looks like there's 111 gigabytes of stuff that I'm deleting, and I'm hoping to God that it doesn't, like, just disappear into the cloud forever and ever. But I have it on my other computer, so it should be synced and, you know, be able to recover if uh, something really bad happened. And uh, then we're just going to let Google Drive do its thing and uh, sync everything back up, and it will be like nothing ever happened. Okay, so we are setting that thing back up. And we'll see what happens. So while that's setting up, I just wanted to let you guys know that we did dyno two cars today. Um, before I messed around with the Google Drive stuff, they made some good power. I pulled those files out of the Google Drive. Well, copied them out of the Google Drive. That way I can copy them back in and not lose anything. Uh, so it will eventually sync when I get this all synced up. If that makes any sense. I don't know if you guys are technical out there. But this is the stuff that, like, 
I kind of enjoy doing, but don't really enjoy doing. I don't know if you guys know that kind of feeling, but that's exactly where I am right now. So the reason why I use the Google Drive is so if something goes down, uh, it can come back and sync everything. Check this out. We see everything starting to sync up now, and this is going to populate with uh, uh, actual like folders in just a sec. It's probably populated now, it just needs to refresh. And it's probably having a heart attack. But Yeah, imagine if I just click on this, it'll be that yeah, there's everything there. Now these check marks mean that it's uh it is a synced folder and a lot of times it'll be like a, you know, the twirly thing that says that it needs to sync. Right now since everything needs to sync, it's not showing that, but yeah. So, that's easy. All my stuff's coming back, and that'll be done in uh, in a little bit. And the only thing that sucks is all the folders there, they're, they're uh, not like files, so they go by the date that I use it. And if you're looking for stuff by date, then you only see this. But the files are, are timestamped properly, so you get the the right time stamping on the files, just not the folders. That's the only goofy thing. So well, there you have it guys, we are all back up and running, thank god, it only took us down for uh, about a half a day, half a day's work, I mean it was, it was more than that for me, but I did all this after hours last night and then today, and you know, it, 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 it is what it is, uh, I think that the environment here hasn't been too good, I, but now that uh, we can really boot this thing up fast with the, the uh, solid state hard drive, I think we might end up shutting it off at night, we would I mean, this thing's been on for probably two or three years, and I'm sure it has sucked in all sorts of dust that has settled, and uh, maybe that'll that'll stop it. But in the uh, in the uh, interim here, we have another fan coming, and maybe that'll buy us another three years with it. And it's you know doing good. It's an i7. I don't know if that means anything to you guys, but it means stuff to me because I'm a geek. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day. I'm sorry this wasn't that car related video, but it is some of the struggles that happen when you are a shop owner that deals with stuff that, that really depends on electronics. So, adios. See you on the next one.